A new trailer for the upcoming Michael Fassbender, Marion Cotillard film Macbeth has hit the web. A new adaptation of William Shakespeare's period tragedy. Macbeth is the story of a fearless warrior and inspiring leader brought low by ambition and desire. A thrilling interpretation of the dramatic realities of the times and a truthful reimagining of what wartime must have really been like for one of Shakespeare's most famous and compelling characters. A story of all-consuming passion and ambition set in war-torn 11th century Scotland. Schnepp, buy or sell this trailer for Macbeth. What's done is done. <laughs> Cannot be undone or something like that. I buy it. I love Shakespeare. And this just is it's so exciting to see these amazing actors. Marion Cotillard, Michael Fassbender, this crazy director, whatever this trailer, this trailer looks dope. It looks amazing. It looks it looks like everything. I love Shakespeare because it's so ultra violent and strange. I mean, Shakespeare really is like weird theater to me. Um, you you egg. You know, <laughs> last time I ever heard somebody call somebody an egg. How dare you? Yeah, how oh, dare damn you? spot. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I I cannot wait to see this. Uh, and it's you know, it's oh, Shakespeare is always a couple of years. Every couple of years, somebody does a Shakespearean adaptation. And recently, we've seen a lot of different Shakespearean adaptations done in different time periods, like Coriander, or you know, there's a whole bunch of ones where they like kind of move it into the war, like you know, the recent wars and things like that, and try to update Shakespeare. So. I like that this is taking place in the time that it's supposed to take place in. So I, I buy it 100%. Amy Rose? I buy it passionately as well. Um, I'm really intrigued about this production. Not only was it nominated, this film already at Cannes for the Palme d'Or, mm. yeah. the top prize, mm -hmm. which is says speaks leagues of itself already. But I mean, they're teaming up again for Assassins, obviously. Right. With Michael Fassbender, same cast. That says a lot. And this director has not been on the scene for a long time. And one thing that lives very dominantly in his work is that they're all very violent. But he doesn't use violence for shock value. Mm -hmm. He uses it to show the maddening, like the darkness of these characters and how they turn to violence. And Macbeth, what better character <laughs> in history than that? I mean, Shakespeare does it right, as you said. So I'm really passionate about this production and it looked beautifully shot. I mean, I could not be more excited. Now, so what we got here is we got the same director, lead actor, lead actress as Assassin's Creed. I'm theorizing here that Macbeth is actually the ancestor to the guy mm -hmm. in the Assassin's Creed <laughs> yes. movie. The this is actually in. a prequel to, no, it, no, it's really not. I buy this trailer. I love the rawness of it. Mm -hmm. There was no, when you watch this trailer, there's nothing glamorous in this trailer. There's no jump spinning sword swings. There's nothing to, to look, you know, spectacular. Or, no, it's raw Brutal. and it's gritty. And the performances just look that same way, raw and gritty and all that kind of stuff. Uh, Fassbender, I was one, look, I'm a big fan of Michael Fassbender. But you want a, a litmus test for an actor, throw him in something with Shakespeare and let's see what happens. And it's just the trailer, but he owned it. He inhabited it. I'm watching this like this dude is a born Shakespearean actor. It looks awesome to me. Huge buy for me. Dennis? Yeah, big buy for me. It looks like a cross between like Braveheart and Game of Thrones. Yes. From the, And the cinematography is gorgeous. And, and what you said uh, is what I was thinking. is like, I don't know much about Justin Kurtzel, the director, but obviously Michael Fassbender was very happy with how this movie turned out because right. he brought him along for Assassin's Creed. And I think he just wants that same chemistry with, with obviously Marion Cotillard and this director and him all together. So I, now this pumps me up for Assassin's Creed. 